Alright, welcome back everybody. This is going to be an unboxing video. However, I'm a little bit confused right now about something, and I just wanted to let you know before you start watching that there may be some lost footage here, which is pretty sad. Um, I have been looking for it for now the past three hours cool <laughs> that's actually been longer than i thought it was Jeez, louise all right um but yeah i have so i i and i could even be wrong about this but i feel like i recorded a reaction video not a reaction video an unboxing video and then was like you know what i'm i'm not gonna upload it yet it's you know i'm just gonna wait till next time i do an unboxing then put them together I think the reason for that was because I had like just did an unboxing or there was some reason at the time. Um, now one thing has led to another and I have uh, three different unboxing videos that are each, you know, relatively short that I'm going to be stringing together into one video. But I thought there was four. I feel like I'm missing the first one. Um, and I've been looking everywhere for it. I thought I found it. And then it turned out I, I hadn't, I had found an even older one. Um, and I do delete videos sometimes off the computer because they fill up a ton of space. And I have like hundreds of them at any given time and try to pare it down every once in a while. Um, I may have accidentally deleted something or maybe I'm just insane and I'm wrong about having more footage that I've lost. But um, let me see. I think uh, David King has at least one package in every one of these videos, right? So, uh, Dave, if you see this, let me know if there's, like, stuff that you sent earlier, if you have any idea. I mean, you don't have to know, um, you know. But uh, let me know in the comments if you, like, notice that, there's, that you sent me stuff before the things that I'm unboxing in this video. Um... And if anyone has, and if there is indeed lost footage, I guess I could keep looking for it and also uh, thank the people who sent the stuff and everyone who sent anything. Thank you all very much. And also greatly, deeply apologize for screwing up like that. Next time I will not um, uh, wait, I guess. I don't know. I felt like it, I've been posting too many unboxing videos, like, too quickly after each other. Um, yeah. All right, all right, sorry. Uh, this is taking too long. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. Really appreciate you guys, and I will talk to you soon. Deathstroke 9, starting. Hi, <laughs> this is this is me from the future. And, um, yeah, we're going to, we've only got, let's see, one, two, three, four. Four packages, um, so let's... Just start with this one. And as always, I've uh, like cut into them beforehand, but I still don't know what's in them. I mean, obviously for this one, I, I know it's a book, but I don't know what the book is. All right. Uh, so this is from, uh, I have no idea where this is from. Collected works of Russell Hoke, Hokey, Hoke, I'm gonna say Hoke. It's actually a very nice book. It contains all the poems and songs. Oh, wow. All right. Dear Daniel, I have enjoyed your reaction videos on YouTube, especially the one on Ode to Billy Joe. This is a copy of... What? This is a copy of my life's work. You seem to be a very thoughtful person, and I thought you might find some of the poems, songs, stories of interest. My... My albums on vinyl can be found on the internet. Wow. This is, that, that, that is um, really, really, really cool. Oh my goodness, wow. Thank you so much. Um, if you'd like a free copy of my LP, just let me know. Here's my email. Thank you, wow, thank you so much. It's called The Melancholy Traveler. The Collected Works of Russell Oak. I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. That's so cool. Wow. It's signed. This edition is limited to 300 copies signed and numbered by the author. This is number 85. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. That's that's awesome. All right. 
um, I'll be sending you an email. All right. Wow. I can't wait to read it. That's really cool. All right. Um, moving on to the next one. Um, we have this, which is from Rob. Hi, Rob. Welcome back again. Uh, and within, we first have a note. And it says, hi, Daniel. I wanted to thank you for reacting to a song for all seasons from Renaissance in the only way I know how, by sharing more Renaissance. Uh, my local used record shop had this LP at a great price. They guarantee no skips. Please enjoy the this double live album of their best work recorded in June of uh, 75 at the world famous, um, yeah, the, at the place that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> thank you for all that you do, Rob. Thank you so much. Let's, let's see this. Renaissance Live. Maybe I can pronounce it here. With, yeah. Carnegie Hall. Okay. Is that right? Carnegie. Car Car say it again. Carnegie Hall. Carnegie. Carnegie. All right. Cool. Carnegie. Carnegie Hall. <laughs> um, all right. I really like the album cover. It's really cool. Very dramatic. I like it a lot. Well, there's songs around here. Prologue, Ocean Gypsy, Can You Understand, Carpet of the Sun, Running Hard, Mother Russia, there's Ashes Are Burning on here. Ashes Are Burning is such a great song. Two packages from uh, Dave King, which are, it looks like, filled with vinyls. So, as always, Dave, I don't know what to say except for uh, thank you very much. Uh, first, we have a thing that says, uh, start on this side. Okay. Um, and right off the bat, we have Jesus Christ Superstar. Script insert is a must-have when listening. Okay. Okay. Ooh, wow. Ooh, is that what this is? The script insert. That's exactly what this is. Jesus Christ Superstar. This is another album I'm intending to react to eventually. I don't know. Rock operas and, like, the, the big... Ambitious production things like this are um, things that I'm very interested in. So Jesus Christ Superstar. Uh, once again, as often happens, I'm going to kind of go through these rather quickly so that we don't use up too much of your time. But next we have uh, original motion picture soundtrack of The Sting featuring the music of Scott Joplin. Um, oh, wow. We got uh, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Wow. That's really cool. All the lyrics on the back. So excited to keep going with the Beatles. Um, Allman Brothers Band. The song is, uh, the album is called Beginnings. My dad recently got, you did recently get an Allman Brothers Band CD, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which, uh, yeah, he really likes this band. They're really good. All right. Um, then we have Simon and Garfunkel in the concert in Central Park, which that's awesome. That's most of their hits, a lot of stuff that I've reacted to so far and a lot of stuff I have yet to react to. Cool. Boston, another Boston album. Which album is this? Um took nearly six years to con conceive and complete this album. No orchestral instruments or synthesizers were used to create the sounds. Each individual piece of music relates a human experience, and together they tell the story of a journey into life's third stage. Okay? I'm interested to see what Boston... I, I don't know which number album this is, but people have told me in the comments that like their first two albums are their best, and then after that... You know, in their opinion, they kind of changed a lot. And I'm interested to see if I agree with that assumption or if I'm going to like their later music as well. Then we have Bad Company. I think this is their self-titled probably or first album. Um, yeah, we've only done like one Bad Company song. We need to do another one. Um, the Carpenters, uh, the singles, uh, Gatefold Original with Insert. Okay. Yes. Very cool. Ah. 
looks very pretty, actually. Yeah. Then, Crosby, Stills, Nash, and Young. Deja vu. So, yeah. Um, awesome. The best of the Doobie Brothers. Yeah, so David King has been talking to me about um, how there's so much music and that I should listen to some uh, greatest hits albums, you know, from front to back so that I can hear, like, a certain band's, all their, all the singles that people keep asking me to react to. Uh, let me know what you all think of that idea if you want down below. Next, we've got the Marshall Tucker Band. I think we've only reacted to one song by them, but it was really good. It was, like, a live, right? Yeah. Um, then... Steve Miller Band. Nice. The greatest hits. I need to do another Steve Miller song. What's the first one I reacted to was Swingtown, maybe? The Joker sounds interesting just from the name. And, uh, yeah, a lot of people really liked uh, really liked it. And, you know, so did I. And I think this is Styx. The album's called Cornerstone. And Styx has so many albums. I love it. Their album art is always so unique and interesting. Very proggy. Then we have Genesis. Um, cool. Emerson, Lake, and Palmer is this a trilogy, which, let's see. Um, I have barely reacted to anything from this. I think the first thing I reacted to was from the beginning, and that was the first song I reacted to by them. And, um, yeah, it was uh, very different from everything else that they put out. So, um, yeah, all right. So that is the first of two packages from David King. Moving along, we have this one, which it says start from this side. First off, we have Cat Stevens. I love his album art. It's so, like, I don't know. There's something very unique about Cat Stevens' artwork on his uh, on his albums. I think this is called Teaser and the Fire Cat. Interesting. Okay. Need to do more of his work. And then Cat Stevens' Greatest Hits. The Turtles' Greatest Hits. That's awesome. Happy Together's on here. Wonder what else, what other cool things they've done. I really liked Happy Together. Very catchy. Very eerie, very cool. Um, the Love and Spoonful, the best of. Linda Ronstadt, greatest hits. Have I reacted to anything by her? I'm trying to remember. I think maybe. If I haven't, I need to. It's been highly requested. Uh, Linda Ronstadt, greatest hits, more greatest hits, I guess. Volume two, yeah. All right, I didn't see that the first time. <laughs> Then, uh, is that Judy Collins? Uh, Colors of the Day, the best of Judy Collins. Another artist I don't think I've done before that a lot of people have asked me to do. Um, Anne, Anne Murray's Greatest Hits? Okay. Cool. Then Joan... Bays, Diamonds, and Rust. Yeah, uh, that's the next song I'm going to do by her is the title track off this one. Bias, Bias thank you. Bias. <laughs> um, then Jackson Brown, Running on Empty. John Denver's Greatest Hits. Simon and Garfunkel's Bookends. Is uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome. Mud slide slim. James Taylor. Mud slide slim. Okay. I was wondering if that was the name of the um the group. <laughs> Mud slide slim and the blue horizon. Okay. Then, what is this? Hmm. What is this? Do you have any idea? Oh, then there's this. Um, 
JT. I'm pretty sure that's not what it's called. On the back it says your smiling face. There we are. Honey, don't leave LA. Another gray morning. I guess those are the names of the songs. James Taylor. You think so? Okay. James Taylor. Carly and James. Yep. Okay. Definitely. All right. Um, then we have the Beach Boys, 69. Coolio. Beach Boys. I think Pet Sounds is an album that a lot of people want me to check out. If I can. Then the Beach Boys, Endless Summer. And that is the last thing in here. Endless Summer. All right. Um, Coolio. Thank you so, so very much, all of you. All righty, let's see. This one is from David King as well. Um, it's a smaller one, as always. We have opened it beforehand. Let's see what is inside. Inside there is, ooh. There's some, there's, there's some things here. First off, we have what just looks freaking awesome. Apocalypse Now, <laughs> the complete dossier. That's how you pronounce that, right? Yeah, cool. This is the coolest, um, <laughs> is it? So Apocalypse Now is a film, right? So yeah, coolest way to package a film I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, the film, um, let's see. Producer side, or is that, is that what that says? Producer side of you, uh, side of you should get lots out of this to enjoy. Okay, the film producer side of you should get lots out of this to enjoy. Okay, thank you. I've actually, since you guys, I reacted to The End by um, The Doors, people have been telling me to check out this film. Apocalypse Now. All right, looks very cool. Okay, thank you very much. Next, um, oh, let me show it one time. Hmm, interesting front. It's very weird with you all being here. All right, um, then we have this, which says the authorized video biography of whom? Let's see. The band, the authorized video biography. All right, an hour quick dive into the roots of rock. All right, yes, uh, David King has been asking me to watch this for a while. He said I should watch it with you. So, cool, 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 cool. And then um, we have some more album outer covers that he sent. Thank you very much. These will come in handy. Um, and then next we have um, this package here, which is from Justin. And... First off, it is convenient that you guys are with me. Because this literally says, please read this with your parents when you get it, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, okay. You'd think that would be the you'd think that would be the thing you know that would, that would be it I, there's a whole box here though <laughs> um so then it says read this during the unboxing if you wish daniel they say hard work pays off here's proof a yeti desktop mic and a pair of beats studio three earphones i know you will put them to good use on behalf of your current and future subscribers thank you for making a truly enjoyable and educational reaction channel all my best, Justin. Wow. Wow. Um, wow. Okay, so first off, we have we have this, which is a. What would you say? Turn it around this way. This. I think this is the front. This, I guess, is the front. Uh, a Yeti Ultimate USB Microphone for Professional Recording. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is amazing. That's awesome. Can record it in stereo, bi-directional, omnidirectional, car cardioid. Wow. That is so cool. 
and yeah, that's awesome. Um, and then we have this, which are headphones, which I've been uh, searching for better headphones for a minute. Over ear wireless Bluetooth headphones with carrying case. Wow. That's incredible. Those are beats. Yeah. yeah. Active noise canceling. Well, the works, obviously. Um, yeah, again, I really don't know what to say. That's, uh, that's really, really cool. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Um, and then, what is this? A um, equipment thing. Oh, a string cleaner for guitar. I need oh, this. No. I actually really need this. Did you know I needed this? <laughs> <laughs> From watching my videos where I play guitar. Um, and picks. And picks as well. Some of the most useful gifts I think we've, we've ever received. Um, that's so cool. Wow. Thank you so, so very much, uh, Justin. Like, the microphone and the headphones will allow me to you know, just, I guess, make the videos a better experience, hopefully. So, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> it's Overwhelming. awesome. Overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, Justin, thank you very much. Uh, I'm going to send you a message on Patreon. Now, we have, we have one more package here, um, and this is another one from David King. So, start on this side. This is more albums, so we're going to go through this relatively quickly. We've got first... The Outlaws bringing it back or bring it back alive. Then we have we've done I've done one song by The Outlaws, right? It was really good too. Hmm. I wish there was a let me move this so that I can when I put these down they stack better as opposed to falling all over the place. All right, Little Feet, Time Loves a Hero, a bunch of Little Feet, Little Feet. Oh yeah, people were requesting that in my last live stream. Let me show. Let me show you. We've got lots of little feet here. This, then this one. Cool album art, actually. Then this one. <laughs> like how the, this thing almost looks like it's a face. Anyway, all right. Um, Feets Don't Fail Me Now is the name of this one. <laughs> I think this is a live album by them. All right, wow, that's one, two, three, four, five albums from Little Feet. Awesome, very cool. All right, then we have Steve Miller Band. Another oh, Steve Miller Band, Fly Like an Eagle. Men at Work, Business as Usual. <laughs> Rush. Signals. Yes, I've only done like, how many songs have I done off this one? Only a couple, right? Maybe a few more than a couple. Subdivisions, The Analog Kid, Chemistry, Digital Man, The Weapon, New World Man, Losing It, and Countdown. Need to do more from this album. Need to do more Rush in general. Haven't done them in a minute. ELO's Greatest Hits. Okay, okay, I, I'm gonna need this. ELO. Yes, yes, yes. Lyrics inside. Oh, yeah, there's a lyric sheet on the um, uh, final cover. All right. Harry Chapin, short stories. Paragraphs written inside are the short story lyrics, okay? It's a really cool album art, actually. It shows a bunch of different, uh, like, it's one <laughs> whole that's made up of a bunch of different, like, people and experiences and stuff going on here. So pretty cool. Um, then we have, is this, jo who is this? Is this Joe Cocker? Or is it just, Go yes, all right, cool, all right. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's cool, very cool. All right, um, The American Prayer, Jim Morrison, Music by the Doors, a Jaws classic, which is not for everyone's taste. Yeah, people told me about this, actually. I'm excited to check this out eventually. Mark, Don, and Mel. Grand Funk Railroad. Is that, yeah, is that what, awesome, awesome. 
I love that they, um, their albums are, you know, the big, thick double albums and stuff. It's cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. I like this. I like the. I like what it says on the back. All right, next we have ELP Works Volume 1. Okay. Cool. Pretty cool uh, album cover. Then ELP Works Volume 2. So it's like the black album and the white album a little bit with the covers. Then Emerson, Lake, and Palmer, welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends, ladies and gentlemen. Is this, this is probably a live album. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Cool. Oh my gosh, there's six sides, so I guess there's three, three discs in here. Crazy. All right. And now we've come to the end. I'm just going to stop it there. All right, here is some more bits of um, unboxing. Welcome. Uh, yeah, so first, yeah, I'm just going to get right into it. Thank you. Huge thank you to all the people who keep sending this stuff. It's mind-boggling, and um, you are awesome. All right, starting off with David King. Uh, sent two packages here that look like they have albums once again i'm in a different chair than i normally am right now all right um so let's take a look at what we have here all right number one uh, once again as always i'm going to go through them relatively quickly Ooh, is that the cars it is the cars well actually first we have stevie ray vaughn uh and double trouble texas flood all right cool stevie ray vaughn's really good a lot of people keep asking me to react to him I reacted to Texas Flood live, and it actually got blocked and put on my Patreon page. If you want to check that out, um, check out the Patreon link in the description. Next is The Cars. I think this is their debut album, I think. I remember Rick Beato talking about them a bit. Um, is this also a Cars record? I have no idea. Um, this is Vargas on the front of it. Cool album art. Um, cool, cool, cool. Then we have, yeah, I think these are the, this is the cars again, because then there's another one with another similar style album art, which says Duster, then I think it says Wedge, Flint, hmm. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what the name of the album is. Heartbreak City, Heartbeat, Heartbeat City. Never mind. Heartbeat City. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Then we have Who Are You, which I guess is uh, Who Are You. Keep Clear. Cool. And I'm pretty sure that is the Who. <laughs> um. The Secret Policeman's Ball, the music. Pete Townsend, Ro Tom Robinson, Neil Innes, Innes, John Williams. Okay, that's pretty cool. Very cool, actually. We got Pinball Wizard right at the beginning. Huh. Profits from this album. Looks like it goes to a charity. That's really cool. All right. Uh, then we have... Whistle Rhymes by John Entwistle. Ah, oh, they're, they're solo projects. Awesome. Love it. I like the album art on this one, too. Reminds me of, like, old school fairy tales. And we have Billy Joel, An Innocent Man. Billy Joel, is this the stranger? Yes, it is. So cool. Yes. This has, um, let's see. Uh, a lot of good songs on it. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, wait. Sorry. Not that one. This one right here. There we are. Some of, a lot of my favorite uh, Billy Joel songs are on this album. So, so cool to have a vinyl of it. Um, yeah. Next, we have Billy Joel Glass Houses. Or Glass Houses. Um, cool album art. And <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 
Uh, ooh, wow. This is a the best of Jethro Tull album. That's pretty cool. It looks like a white sheet, doesn't it, to you guys? Um, maybe that shows it a little bit better. Yeah. Then we have Jethro Tull, Minstrel in the Gallery. Lots of people are excited for me to get to this one, and I'm excited to get to it as well. Jethro Tull live, bursting out. Ooh, a lot of people were talking about this one on that, on the, the one I just did, Living in the Past, so cool. Jethro Tull, Original Masters. I guess this is their the original stuff. Uh, side one has like Living in the Past, Aqualung, Too Old to Rock and Roll, Too Die to Young, Locomotive Breath, Skating Away on the Thin Ice, The New Day. That's a really cool name for a song. Bungle in the Jungle, Sweet Dreams, Songs from the Wood, Which is Promised, Thick as a Brick. No way it has the entirety of Thick as a Brick on here. It's probably just the beginning. Minstrel in the Gallery and Life's a Long Song. Very cool. Um, then we come to an Ian Anderson solo album, Walk Into the Light. It looks very sophisticated on the front of it. Um, then we have a Genesis album called Duke. Ooh, this is very nice. Yeah. Sorry if the light is blinding you. Uh, then we come to a Genesis album called The Trick of the Tail. Nice. This one has Squonk on it, which I think is the only uh, one I've reacted to off this one. Some very cool, interesting album art that I can see, like I see what uh, folklore it's inspired by, and that's really cool. I like it. Ooh, that's just weird, that one. All right. Cool, cool, cool. All right, moving along. All right, I paused it so I could quickly open up the second box. Um, first off, we have Jim Croce. I've got a name. Very cool. Yeah. I really like Jim Croce. We need to do another song by him. Time in a Bottle, Jim Croce's greatest love songs. Then we have Simon and Garfunkel, Parsley, Sage, Rosemary, and Thyme. Don McLean. Nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, then we have James Taylor, Sweet Baby James. It says photo insert with lyrics on the back. Okay, very nice. Very cool, actually. Cool. Let's just show this off real quick. We have a very pretty photo insert, right? And then on the back we have all the lyrics to all the songs in a very cool font. Almost, uh, um, probably not even a font. It's probably like prints of handwritten stuff. Very nice. Love it. All right. Um, then we have next is Steely Dan, Countdown to Ecstasy. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Steely Dan, Katie Lied. I don't think... Yeah, all right, cool. I like the album art for this one. It has a definite aesthetic to it, I guess. And then we have Can't Buy a Thrill. This album art is so trippy. <laughs> yeah, great album. Uh, then we have ELO, A New World Record. Um, it says there's lyrics inside. It also says that there's a little sticker on it that says the LP is not worth playing, which I guess means it's probably beat up, which is, you know, that's okay. Let's see. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, all music and lyrics inside. Very nice. Um... ELO, great group that I have yet to fully appreciate, I think. Um, last song I reacted to by them I really enjoyed. Van Halen, fitting. Very fitting. Rest in peace, Mr. Van Halen. Yeah. Giant. All right, um, next is the best of ZZ Top. 
Cool. I don't think we've done ZZ Top yet. I think Andy and Alex just released a video where they like live a, as a day, a day as ZZ Top, and I wa I watched their video on that. It was pretty cool. Um, Rolling Stones, Let It Bleed. Such an interesting uh, album cover. I like it a lot. Whoa, what is this? Here we have the Rolling Stones, Hot Rocks, uh, from 64 to 71. Tons of songs on this. I guess it's a four-part, four, yeah, four-side album, so a double album. Very nice. Very cool. I guess it's a compilation album, maybe? Or like a hits thing? All right. Um, then we have Madam... Madam Across the Water. Madman. Madman Across the Water by Elton John. Okay. I love the name of that song. Uh, there's a, it says that there's a lyric sheet inside. Kind of dancers on here. Cool. Love it. All right. Um, then we have Rick Wakeman, Journey to the Center of the Earth. Recorded at the Royal Festival Hall, London, on Friday, January 18th, 1974, with the London Symphony Orchestra and the English Chamber Choir, conducted by, let's see, conducted by David Misham, production narrated by David Hemmings. Very cool. That sounds awesome. There's an orchestra behind him. I like that. All right, the Moody Blues, to our children's children's children. All right. Then more Moody Blues next. Then we've got that. Then the Moody Blues Long Distance Voyager. Moody Blues have some of the best album arts, in my humble opinion, out of uh, any group that I've seen so far. And then the Moody Blues The Other Side of Life. They're just all so evocative. I love it. All right. And um, there's one last thing in this last slew of packages and this one is from joseph hello joseph um yeah let's see what we have in here um there looks like there's a few different things in this box so let's go through them one by one first this is interesting we have um milk chocolate covered macadamias macadamia nuts i love macadamia nuts that's awesome Hmm, all right. Making perfectly roasted macadamia nuts on the big island of Hawaii. With our special dry roasting process, we deliver premium quality macadamia nuts known for their signature crunch and rich buttery flavor in every bite. I want to try one. Hmm. Give me one second. Let me get it open. Come on. You know you want to. Got some of it. Very exciting. Oh, it smells really good. That's nice. Ooh. Okay. They're all over the place. Let's replace them. I don't know why. I like things to be in neat rows when it comes to stuff like this. Okay, here we go. That was really good. Well, I love chocolate and I love macadamia nuts, so it makes sense that I would think that, but... Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Thank you so much, um, Joseph. Greatly appreciated. Um, there's three of them. So, I can share some with the family. Alright. Next. We have a little thing. Actually, no. Next we have a letter. Daniel, I have a few small gifts for you. Board of the Rings is a parody of the Tolkien books. One of the funniest things I've ever read. 
When you said you were a big Tolkien fan, I had to get it for you. I've also included a book of my poetry, all of which I wrote some years back. I hope you find at least some things in there that are worthwhile. And of course, I had to throw in a beloved Hawaiian product, chocolate-covered macadamias. Got enough for your whole family. Yes, indeed. I want to thank you again for being the kind person that you are and for your kindness to me, people. Like you are rare, I will keep watching you as you move into adult life more fully. I predict great things for you, Daniel, and I will be around as long as I can to watch. You rock. We are legion. Love, Joe. Thank you so much. Yeah, wow. Thank you. Um, thank you for all the stuff, you know, but also thank you very much for the kind words. I really appreciate it, and it is very encouraging. All right. Um, so, yeah, we've got Board of the Rings. Uh, I'm kind of excited to read this, not going to lie. I do love The Lord of the Rings, which is probably will mean that I will get this. Um, <laughs> yeah, I love Star Wars, and one of my favorite comedy movies is uh, Spaceballs. So. And then we have this. Suncrazed Refuge. Suncrazed? Sun, sun, prison, whatever. All right. Joseph A. Miller. Freelance writer living with his wife on the island. That's so cool. This is his third book on Lulu. And it is a 106-page book. Wow. Ooh. I think, I think I'm going to like this a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm excited to read this. I'm going to stop reading it now and read it when I'm uh, <laughs> not on camera. Or maybe I should read it aloud. I don't know. I don't know if you'd want me to do that, so I'm not going to. All right, thank you so much everybody greatly appreciated and um i will see you soon deathstroke 9 out we are legion